Welcome to the GeoVenture channel. If you enjoy our journey, please like and subscribe for more amazing ocean adventures. Hello, and welcome. Together, we are about to embark on an extraordinary journey into the vast blue heart of our planet. The ocean, a world of immense power and mystery, conceals creatures of such staggering proportions that they almost defy belief. These are the titans of the deep. We will navigate through sunlit surface waters and plunge into the crushing darkness of the abyss to meet these magnificent beings, the ocean's giants. Some of the creatures we will encounter are with us today, others are ghosts from a distant past, ancient legends whose fossilized remains are the only clues to their once dominant reign. Separating fact from fiction, from the gentle filter feeders to the apex predators that once ruled the waves. From hearts the size of a small car to tentacles that stretch longer than a basketball court, each creature holds a story. Our deep dive begins now. Our journey begins with the undisputed sovereign of the ocean, and indeed of the entire animal kingdom, the blue whale. It is not simply a large animal, it is the largest animal known to have ever existed, larger even than the most colossal dinosaurs. To witness one is to witness a living, breathing marvel of biological engineering. Their sheer scale is difficult to comprehend. A fully grown blue whale can stretch to lengths of nearly 30 meters, a length comparable to three school buses parked end to end. Their weight can exceed 200 tons, a mass so immense that it is almost impossible for us to truly grasp. Despite their colossal size, their diet consists almost exclusively of krill, tiny shrimp-like crustaceans. Using baleen plates in their mouths, they filter immense volumes of water, consuming up to four tons of these tiny creatures in a single day. The blue whale's heart provides perhaps the most startling illustration of its size. This incredible organ is roughly the size of a small car and can weigh over 400 pounds. A single beat is so powerful it can be detected on sonar from two miles away. Sadly, these magnificent creatures were hunted to the brink of extinction during the 20th century. Today, thanks to global conservation efforts, their populations are slowly, painstakingly, recovering. Each individual blue whale can be identified by the unique patterns of mottling on its skin, much like a human fingerprint. It is a personal signature for a creature of impersonal, almost geologic scale, a reminder that each of these giants is a unique and irreplaceable individual. Following closely in the wake of the blue whale is its slightly smaller, yet no less impressive cousin, the fin whale. Reaching lengths of up to 27 meters or nearly 90 feet, it holds the title of the second largest animal on Earth. It is a more slender, streamlined creature than the blue whale, a physique that has earned it the nickname the Greyhound of the Sea for its incredible speed and agility. Unlike the mottled blue-gray of its larger relative, the fin whale possesses a unique and striking coloration. Most peculiar is its asymmetrical head pigmentation. The right side of its lower jaw is white, while the left side is dark. The fin whale is a remarkably fast swimmer, capable of reaching speeds of up to 23 miles per hour in short bursts. They are found in all the world's major oceans, undertaking long seasonal migrations from the cold feeding grounds of the poles to the warmer breeding waters of the tropics. One of the most fascinating aspects of the fin whale is its voice. These creatures produce low-frequency pulses that are among the loudest sounds made by any animal. These vocalizations, often below the range of human hearing, can travel for hundreds, perhaps even thousands of miles through the ocean's depths. Like the blue whale, the fin whale is a filter feeder. They employ a technique of lunging at high speed into a dense school of prey, engulfing enormous quantities of water and food in their expandable throat pleats. The story of the fin whale also bears the scars of the whaling era. Their speed initially protected them from the early whalers, but with the advent of faster steam-powered ships and explosive harpoons, they too became a primary target. Their populations were devastated. Today they are protected, and like the blue whale, their numbers are beginning to show signs of a slow but hopeful recovery. Now we turn our attention from the mammals to the fish, and to the undisputed king of that domain, the whale shark. It is a creature of superlatives, the largest known living non-mammalian vertebrate. Despite its intimidating name, a combination of its whale-like size and its shark-like form, it is one of the most placid and gentle creatures in the entire ocean. Growing up to 18 meters or 60 feet in length, the whale shark is a sight to behold. Its skin is a beautiful canvas of dark gray, adorned with a unique pattern of pale yellow or white spots and stripes. This pattern, like the modeling on a blue whale, 
is unique to each individual, serving as a natural form of identification for researchers. They are found in tropical and warm temperate waters often seen cruising slowly near the surface. Their enormous mouths, which can be up to one and a half meters wide, are not filled with fearsome teeth, but with rows of tiny vestigial ones. The whale shark has no need for them, for it is a filter feeder. To feed, the whale shark swims with its vast mouth agape, sieving plankton, krill and small fish from the water. It can process more than 6,000 liters of water every single hour. Divers and snorkelers who have had the privilege of swimming alongside these giants speak of a serene and humbling experience. Much about the whale shark's life remains a mystery. We know very little about their breeding habits and a pregnant female has never been definitively studied. It is thought they can live for over a century. The whale shark is a powerful symbol for ocean conservation. Its gentle nature and breathtaking appearance have made it an icon, drawing tourists from around the world. This ecotourism when managed responsibly, provides a powerful incentive for local communities to protect these animals, ensuring that this gentle colossus can continue to grace our oceans for generations to come. We now journey back to the world of whales, but to a very different kind of giant. This is the sperm whale, the largest toothed predator on Earth. A creature of extremes, a denizen of the deep dark abyss, its appearance is unmistakable. A colossal block-shaped head. That head can be nearly a third of its body length. Inside, the largest brain of any animal up to 9 kilograms. And inside that head, spermaceti, a semi-liquid wax once mistaken for sperm. The spermaceti organ may help echolocation, focusing powerful clicks into a sound beam to hunt in darkness. These dives are astounding. Champions of deep diving among mammals, descents over 2,000 meters or 6,500 feet, holding breath up to 90 minutes. Down there they hunt their primary prey, giant squid and colossal squid, the circular scars on many whale heads, battle wounds from those fights. Clicks aren't only for hunting, they form complex codas for communication. Different clans have unique dialects, a transmitted culture, a language of the deep, rhythmic pulses echoing through the abyss. Sperm whales were hunted for spermaceti and for ambergris used in perfumes. Today they're protected yet threatened by ship strikes and entanglement in fishing gear. Their survival depends on protecting their vast, dark kingdom. For centuries it was the stuff of nightmares and sea shanties, a monster from the abyss with grasping tentacles and eyes the size of dinner plates, the kraken. But this legend has a basis in reality. The giant squid. For a long time our only knowledge came from carcasses washed ashore or remains in the stomachs of sperm whales. That habitat made it hard to study until 2004 when the first photographs were taken. And in 2012 the first video was captured. Estimating maximum size is challenging. Females can reach up to 13 meters or 43 feet. Much of that length is two long feeding tentacles, lined with suction cups and chitinous rings. Those tentacles snatch prey, likely fish and other squid, and bring it to a powerful parrot-like beak. Its eye is remarkable, one of the largest in the animal kingdom, up to 27 centimeters or 11 inches across, the size of a dinner plate. Those eyes detect the faintest light, especially bioluminescence from prey or approaching predators. Despite breakthroughs, the giant squid remains an enigma. We know almost nothing about its behavior, its lifespan or how it reproduces, it is a living embodiment of the vast unknowns that still lie hidden in the ocean's depths, a true monster of the deep that proves that sometimes, the legends are real. If the giant squid is the stuff of legend, then our next creature is a legend made even larger, even more formidable. This is the colossal squid. As its name suggests, it is a true titan. While it may be slightly shorter in total length than the giant squid, it is significantly heavier and more robust, making it the largest invertebrate on Earth by mass. The colossal squid, Mesonychotuthis hamiltoni, inhabits the frigid deep waters of the Southern Ocean, surrounding Antarctica. Its body or mantle is much larger and heavier than that of the giant squid, and its arms are thicker and more muscular. It is a creature built for power rather than speed, a heavyweight contender in the deep sea arena. What truly sets the colossal squid apart from its giant cousin is its weaponry. While both have suckers on their arms and tentacles, the colossal squids are equipped with an additional fearsome feature, sharp swiveling hooks. Some of these hooks are three-pointed and can rotate digging into the flesh of their prey or their predators with a terrifying grip. The scars on sperm whales in the Southern Ocean attest to battles with a truly fearsome adversary. Like the giant squid, 
the colossal squid possesses enormous eyes. In fact, it holds the record for the largest eyes of any known animal, living or extinct. It is estimated they can be up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. In the absolute darkness of the Antarctic depths, these huge optical organs are vital for detecting the silhouettes of prey or the faint bioluminescent flashes of an approaching sperm whale. We know even less about the colossal squid than we do about the giant squid. Our knowledge comes almost entirely from a handful of specimens recovered from the stomachs of sperm whales or caught accidentally by deep-sea fishing trawlers, a true colossus hidden in the cold, dark waters at the bottom of the world. Not all of the ocean's giants are whales, sharks, or squid. Some are far more ethereal, creatures of gossamer and venom. We now encounter the lion's mane jellyfish, the largest known jellyfish. Its bell can grow to over 2 meters or 7 feet in diameter, but it's really its tentacles that give it monstrous proportions. A dense flowing mane of fine thread-like tentacles trails its bell. The tentacles are arranged in 8 distinct clusters. A large specimen can have more than 1,200 tentacles, they can achieve astonishing lengths. The longest recorded measured 37 meters 120 feet longer than a blue whale. This vast trailing net is highly effective for catching prey. Drifting slowly through the cold waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans, small fish, crustaceans, other smaller jellyfish. Each tentacle is armed with countless stinging cells called nematocysts, which fire tiny venomous harpoons on contact. For a human swimmer an encounter can be intensely painful, though rarely fatal. The stings can cause severe skin irritation, blistering and muscle cramps. For its prey, the venom is paralyzing, allowing the jellyfish to draw its meal up to its mouth on the underside of its bell. The life cycle is a fascinating journey of transformation. It begins as a tiny, stationary polyp on the seafloor. The polyp produces tiny disc-like clones that are released into the water column. Each tiny disc, called an ephira, will grow into a giant jellyfish. These ethereal giants are creatures of the cold, thriving in northern latitudes. Yet, they are an ancient, successful lineage, drifting for hundreds of millions of years, a silent, beautiful, and venomous giant. We return to the world of sharks to a gentle giant that defies the fearsome reputation of its kind. This is the basking shark, the second largest living fish, surpassed only by the whale shark. Reaching lengths of up to 12 meters or 40 feet, a colossal presence in temperate oceans. Named for feeding slowly at the surface, appearing to bask in the sun, its most prominent feature, a cavernous mouth held wide open as it swims. Like the whale shark and the great baleen whales, it's a filter feeder, a passive giant that poses no threat to humans. To feed, it swims forward mouth agape, filtering enormous volumes of water. Gills modified with structures called gill rakers, long, bristle-like filaments. They strain plankton, small fish and invertebrates. It can filter up to 2,000 tons of seawater per hour, the equivalent of an Olympic-sized swimming pool every two hours. Despite their size, basking sharks are elusive. Much of their lives remains a mystery. They undertake vast migrations. Where they go and why is not fully understood. Was thought to hibernate on the ocean floor in winter, but satellite tagging shows long-distance travel and deep dives, typically slow-moving, cruising about 2 miles per hour while feeding, but capable of surprising bursts of speed, even breaching, leaping entirely out of the water. Historically hunted for liver oil used for lighting and lubricants and for fins and meat, this hunting dramatically reduced populations in many areas. Today protected in many regions, seeing one cruising at the surface is rare and magnificent, a reminder not all giants are fearsome predators. We now leave the modern era and journey back in time to a prehistoric ocean ruled by a predator of truly terrifying proportions. This is Ototus megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. For over 20 million years it was the undisputed apex predator of the seas, a creature so large and powerful, it has fueled nightmares for centuries. Megalodon is known to us only through its fossilized teeth and a few vertebral columns. Its skeleton was made of cartilage which rarely fossilizes, but these teeth are enough to paint a picture of a truly monstrous shark. They are enormous, some reaching over 18 centimeters or 7 inches in length. Based on the size of these teeth, scientists estimate that Megalodon could have reached lengths of up to 18 meters or 60 feet, possibly even more. This size makes it three times longer than a great white shark, and gives it a weight estimated at over 50 tons. Its jaws were immense, with a bite force calculated to be one of the most powerful in the history of life on Earth, strong enough to crush the skull of a whale. 
It was an ambush predator, attacking large prey like whales, dolphins, and giant sea turtles. Fossilized whale bones have been found with the distinct serrated bite marks of megalodon teeth providing direct evidence of its predatory behavior. It was a true hypercarnivore, an animal at the very top of the food chain with no natural predators of its own. The extinction of megalodon, around 3.6 million years ago, is a subject of intense scientific study. A cooling climate which altered ocean currents and forced its warm water prey to move or die out is thought to be a primary cause. The rise of new competition, such as large predatory whales like Liviatan and the ancestors of the modern great white shark, may have also played a role. Despite what popular culture might suggest, Megalodon is unequivocally extinct. Megalodon remains a ghost of the past, a fossil titan that serves as a humbling reminder of the scale and ferocity that life can achieve. Our final journey into the past takes us even further back to the Jurassic period, around 165 million years ago. Here, in the warm, shallow seas that covered much of Europe, lived a different kind of giant. This was Lidsichthys problematicus, one of the largest bony fish ever to have existed, possibly reaching up to 16 meters, over 50 feet. It was not a predator like Megalodon. Like the basking shark and the whale shark of today, it was a gentle giant, a massive filter feeder. Lidsichthys is a striking example of convergent evolution. Across hundreds of millions of years, different groups, bony fish, cartilaginous fish, and mammals, evolved the same strategy, filter feeding. It's a powerful testament to a successful blueprint for colossal life on Earth. We have journeyed from the sunlit surface to the crushing abyss, from the present day to a time before humans walked the Earth. We have met the largest animal that has ever lived and the ghosts of titans that once ruled the ancient seas. These creatures, in their immense scale and their diversity, challenge our perception of what is possible. They are a profound reminder of the power and majesty of the natural world. As we continue to explore the deep, we will undoubtedly uncover new giants and solve the mysteries of those we already know. Each discovery is a new chapter in our understanding of life's incredible journey. Which of these colossal creatures surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Our exploration of this blue planet is far from over. There are countless more wonders to discover in the depths. We invite you to join us on our future expeditions. By subscribing to GeoVenture you won't miss a single discovery. Thank you for joining me on this voyage into the realm of giants. The ocean is deep, and its stories are endless. Let's continue to explore them together.